Now, scientists have warned that the planet's natural refrigerator, the Antarctic, could begin acting as a radiator, warming the planet further. They're asking the Foreign Office to begin investigating what they're calling potential cascading global impacts. At the moment, it acts to cool the planet. It's a, it does an amazing favour for us. It reflects sunlight back into space. But if the ice is being lost and the snow is being reduced, then Antarctica stops absorbing heat and then acting to heat the rest of the planet, and that would exaggerate global warming. The second reason is that there's enough ice in Antarctica that if it all melted, the ocean surface globally will go up by many metres. Now, that might not happen in our lifetime. It might take some time to achieve it. But the reason it will happen in the future is because of what we're doing now. Well, our correspondent, science correspondent, Thomas Moore, has more for us. Well, it is now midwinter in Antarctica and the sea ice should be at its maximum extent. But it is at a record low, far below the record set last July. In fact, there's something like 900,000 square miles of missing ice. And this is part of a recent trend that scientists are increasingly concerned about not just on what's happening to the sea ice, but also about the rivers of ice, the, the glaciers running off land into the sea. They're picking up speed. And there has been an extraordinary heat wave, the most extreme heat wave the planet has seen in recorded history that happened last March when warm air uh, that came from Australia moved over to the Antarctic continent and raised temperatures 38 and a half degrees above what they should be for the time of year. Now, it's the combination of all these factors that make scientists concerned. They don't have lots of weather stations down on the continent, so they can't get the kind of data uh, over a geographical area or over a period of time that they have in other parts of the world. So whereas elsewhere they're getting increasingly confidence in saying extreme weather events are in fact due to uh, man-made uh, climate change, here they don't know for sure. But it's the fact that there are so many other aspects of uh, Antarctica which are under stress, seeing these extreme events that makes them pretty confident that this is climate change that is now reaching one of the remotest parts of the planet.